Uh, so for our external frame that sits underneath the bar, we need to provide some framework um, to support our wall sheet on the outside of the bath there, which would be internal of our room. I've just put some blocks onto the bottom plate, formed a, a short stud and another a nogging. I'm just going to knock that in to position and secure off with a couple of nails. and tight, that's going to be great support for what's about to happen. And likewise over there. I'll come back when that's nailed off. Russell back. Uh, we've got the support frame on the outside edge of the bath um, ready to go. Just to show you some of the marks that we've got here. When the bath was in the frame before, just mark the outside edge of the bath. Um, and the mark that I've plumbed down is the, funnily enough, the inside edge of the bath. Um, and that's plumbed down. That's going to be, that's going to locate this frame. So I've got to put that frame in there. And you'd be happy to know that this part, we're going to screw that on. So that's going to be the position of this frame. Now the height of this frame, it seems to be short, but what we're allowing for is we're going to wrap this in villa boards. We're allowing for six mil on the villa board. We're going to tuck the tile underneath the bath, and so we're allowing for a 10 millimeter tile, and it would still give us a two to three millimeter gap under the edge of the bath. We'll be able to, um, Use some um, U Butte silicon yep, to seal that off. Now we're going to support the edge of the bar, and so we're going to support that edge um, with another piece of timber that's going to be screwed to the back. Now it's not going to be sitting at this level, it's actually going to be sitting a little bit higher, and we're going, well, how much higher is it going to sit? Well, what we're going to be able to do is go to Here's a bath that we've installed previously. And we'll be able to mark that lip. And so we'll be able to hold a block up underneath, mark that lip, and that's the height. So we'll be able to say that this supporting member in behind is actually going to be sitting from that line up. And that's 16 millimetres for bath number four. Um, each of the baths could be slightly different. So when we come back, we'll have this secured off and we'll be ready to um, install this bar. Alrighty, we're back again. I'm um, just installing this supporting uh, piece on the outside wall here. Um, I've just cut that short either end just to make sure that they don't foul up on the curved area on the bar. Um, and as you can see, I've got that up a distance and the distance ends up being 37 millimetres for this particular bar. It was uh, 21 mil um, was how far short this wall is to allow for the tile, villa board and a little bit of a gap underneath the edge of the bath um, to underneath. So it's 37 mil, I just um, mark, put a marking gauge along Ran the pencil along so I could see it, and I've screwed that on. Um, last one to go on is this short edge here, so I'll just secure that on. Again, we're securing it on with screws. Uh, this, this, was, this is going to come back off again. And then, in the end, I'll probably in, just run the plane on the top. Take that edge off to make sure that the curved edge underneath the bath, the, uh, the bath frame, doesn't foul up on that timber. So it's going to have um, an edge. So I'll have the edge on it as we lower the, the bath in in the next video. All 
Rightio, we're back for the final install, which is good to know. So I just put a bit of a chamfer on those supporting rails, just to make sure that they don't foul up on the rounded part of the bath. And now this preformed bath can go in. So I'm just going to shuffle it in. and make sure it's sitting on and with it being held up against that lip there what it provides is just a little bit of a margin at the back there to be able to have some kind of adhesive or silicon to support that so the bath doesn't creak and in the end once the plumber um, installs it for you and possibly muds it up underneath uh, there you have um, a bath